back to y'all. I am back today with another wig review. And today, y'all, I have a wig that I purchased a while ago, about a month and a half, two months ago. But I never had a chance to do a review on it, so I'm here now with this review. So, y'all, this one right here is from Outre. It is called Jillian. I have it in the color DRFF slash Red Velvet. I've been wanting to try that color for so long. I don't have anything in my collection in that color. So, y'all, this one says that it has a 5-inch Swiss Lace L parting. It has natural baby hairs and it's pre-plucked. Y'all know how I feel about pre-plucked. Pre-plucked lace parting. So, I love pre-plucked, y'all. So, I'm hoping that it looks really, really good. So, I know I'm going to love this color. And this is what it's looking like, y'all. I love red and I mean it's one of my favorite colors to wear. I have a lot of favorite colors to wear when it comes to hair. So um, anyway, this is what she's looking like and I already cut the lace off y'all so can't show y'all the lace like it's that important. It's not. But anyway, um, we have the one comb in the back with the two adjustable draw straps and we have the two combs. In the front so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and put this one on and see what we are looking like in this one okay y'all and this is what she is looking like straight on my head definitely loving the color I'm doing a lot with this burgundy so y'all I might have to change my dress and put something else on because this is a bit much of burgundy so um y'all other than that let me show y'all what the parting space looks like and the hairline okay this is what that parting space is looking like and of course I am loving it I like my parting space period and it did say it was pre-plucked which it should be y'all it's 2020 we do not need to be plucking any doggone parting spaces at all anymore no I don't think so but anyway y'all um, let me show y'all what that hairline looks like this is definitely not pre-plucked but I think it's okay because the way the hair is the style of the hair I don't think people would be even to be able to see our uh thick hairline with this style so it's fine i think in my opinion so y'all i'm gonna go ahead and lay the babies down because it did say we have some baby hairs which i don't know if i could find them all here goes a few here goes a few right here y'all i have a few on this side but i think i'm gonna have to go and find these babies the rest of them i see a few they're very very i guess you can say very uh thin so I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down, brush it out, and we're gonna see what I look like after. And this is what she is looking like after I put a little work into her. Let me give y'all a 360 of what she looks like all the way around. And this is all of the hair in the bag. She is medium length. She reaches to my shoulder blades. Okay, so let's talk about Jillian. Yeah, I think Jillian is super cute, y'all. She is definitely for everyday wear and glam too, even in this color. So um, I do like that. So she's versatile, y'all. She can be worn to work or date night. So definitely here for that. I do like the bangs, but y'all, one of my girls, her name is G Renee. She mentioned this in a video and I could certainly relate. When we have bangs, those bangs tend to set right on top of our false lashes and push the lash down. And I've been struggling with that, y'all, since I even put this wig on. I do not like my lash to droop, even though that's a personal problem. I mean, I can't get mad at the wig for doing it, but I am. Y'all, I don't like when my lash is hanging lower than the other one. This one right here, y'all. Very cute. I love the way they did the dark root. As y'all can see, the dark root looks really, really good. So I am a fan of that. Under here, y'all, they did not put the dark root, but I don't think we need to worry about that in this case because... I mean, nobody's going to be checking that close for us anyway. And if they are, they got issues. 
So, as for the hairline, even though it's not even plucked, y'all, I was still able to go ahead and lay my baby hairs down and push it back behind my ears. And it's still, to me, in my opinion, it looks natural. Y'all let me know if I am half-stepping. And let me, y'all don't let me walk around looking crazy. If y'all are my friend, true friends, y'all gonna tell me. So let me know what y'all think about the hairline and me being able to push this back. Is it go? Let me know. <laughs> so, um, okay, as for density, this is a medium density. She's not too thick, not too thin, none of that stuff right there. So she is very much medium. Like I like, I don't like no thin hair and I do not like too much hair I don't like it it looks unnatural in my opinion but this one looks natural it looks like it can be somebody's natural hair so I do like that okay as for the shedding and tangling she does both y'all I have a good bit of hair on my legs right now just from brushing her out and playing with her so she does shed and I did get stuck quite a bit just running my fingers through it right now she's behaving as y'all can see but I did and still getting stuck I have gotten stuck a little bit in this wig not sure if it's the color or what but yes she does both but she is inexpensive y'all I told you I paid for her with my own coin and I got her from ebonyline.com for $32.95 y'all I think that's a very good price for this wig and y'all this is four dollars more so if y'all want the neutral colors the ones the one B's you're only gonna have to pay $28.95 so um yeah let's talk about Jillian I think Jillian is cute she's a go for me I think she's cute so, of course, I want to know y'all opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this color. Can I wear her like this? Can I get by y'all? Or are people going to be clocking me? That's all I want to know. Let me know. So, I am going to end this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I will see y'all in my next video.